Rightio, so this, this is a um, multi-step kinematics problem and it really brings out what makes these problems difficult, as you probably have found out. So you've been asked a pretty general sort of, this is a pretty common sort of problem. Someone's sitting on a cliff, they're fired, something's fired or thrown, given a vertical velocity. How long till it hits the ground? Now when you read that question, you immediately think, I've got two pieces of information. A lot of people think that what they need to do is use this, this, and what else do I know? Nope. We've got we've got the distance there. Oh yeah, yeah. Name? Yep. And on the second half. Do what? Okay, yeah, but let's not let's not jump into first and second half. It's good. You're further down the problem than I am. What do I want? What else do I know? What planet's this being done on? Uh, the acceleration. So I know the acceleration is 9.8 metres per second squared down. I'm just going to approximate that to be 10 because I don't want to deal with gross numbers. Cool? So... When approaching these problems, it's always a good idea to follow a few of the, the hints, and I've done a few of these. So these are the ways that I'd probably go about these sort of problems. Number one, always make sure you've identified a positive and negative direction. Does it matter which one? No, nope. providing it's in the right. If you're dealing with up and down, don't make east and west positive. Cool? So I'm just going to say, let's make... Up positive. So anything that's applying up is positive, anything that's applying down is negative. Sweet. Now I said before that I thought I had three pieces of information, which is the magic number for these kinematics equations. I need three. But that 50 metres is actually a bit of a trap. It's not relevant until we get further down. It is a piece of information, but it doesn't help me solve the time component yet. Your knowledge of quadratics isn't good enough for that to help you right now. If your knowledge of quadratics was good enough, you could use D equals VIT plus half AT squared. And I heard some gentlemen in the back saying syntax error. Correct? I'm going to guess that means you square root at a negative number, which means you're on the right track. But your knowledge of quadratics isn't quite good enough yet because... If you dealt with quadratics, then you could have solved that problem. But I'm going to teach you the method that works without quadratics. It also works just as a good problem-solving tool, breaking up our problems into manageable segments. So that's hint two, break it up into manageable segments where I know three things. The 50 metres is a trap, so now how many things do I know? Two. So I need to find a third thing, and this is where breaking it up into my segments is helpful. My third hint was that VF is the third un or the third known variable. And everyone's saying, but I don't know what velocity hits the ground at. Zero. No. He hits the ground at a velocity. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what velocity that is. But I know a velocity at some point in that path. Vertical velocity. I'm only dealing with vertical. I know his vertical velocity at some point in that path. This is very similar, what I'm about to do. That's a very similar problem, isn't it? Yes. Did I know my velocity? So I know, let's say I knew my, my thrown velocity. Did I know my velocity at some other point in time? Well, zero when it comes to the top. right at the top of the flight, here, the velocity is zero. It was going up, stops, and then comes back down. So right at that instant where it stops, I know something. I know my VF equals zero, don't I? So now I know VI 35, is it positive or negative? A, negative 10, VF, 0. Now that I know three things, I can find my third, my fourth variable. I want it to be, let's just make it time. So I want time. What's my next step?
putting it into an equation, I need to find which equation to use. What equation am I trying to use? I need an equation with VI, A, VF, and T. Nathan? Uh, I did VI is equal to VF? Yeah, VF. Very good. I sub my values in. What's my value for VF? What's your value for VI? What's my value for ten? Uh, for acceleration? Negative ten. That's important because I heard some people saying I'm getting a negative value. You're getting a negative value because you haven't identified your positives and negatives correctly. Let's say I'd made down positive. I'd have negative 35 equals 10. When I rearrange that, I'm going to get? Let's go through it. I'll rearrange this first and then we'll have a look. What do I attack first? 35 with a negative 10 to? Yep, I could do it either way, but I'm going to get rid of 35. So subtract 35 from both sides. How do I get rid of a negative 10 times T? Divide both sides by negative 10. T equals 3.5. Okay, if those signs were swapped, would it matter? 